Now it's time to insert your flow meter. Along with the flow meter, you have received a compression fitting with an integrated safety cable. It comes in two pieces and these need to be mounted together. Together they make one piece. The safety cable also comes with an auto brake. The auto brake helps inserting and extracting the flow meter in an easy and safe manner. Now that you've assembled the compression fitting with integrated safety cable, it's time to mount this on top of the ball valve. I use some PTFE tape to create a sealing between the ball valve and the compression fitting, but you can also use some liquid sealing. The manual shows a way to mount the flow meter on top of the ball valve where you assemble the flow meter together with the compression fitting as one and then mount it on top of the ball valve. Another way is to first mount the compression fitting on the ball valve and then build the flow meter up from there. So let's mount it. Take the compression fitting and a wrench because you'll need it. So first hand tighten it and then use your wrench to securely tighten it. So we're all the way in the right position. Our plate shows us the flow direction. Let's grab the flow meter and stick it in. Now that the compression fitting is in place, it's time to assemble your flow meter. You need a VP sensor cartridge, a locking ring and of course a transmitter. But we'll get to that one later. First step is you slide your cartridge into the locking ring. Then you take the safety cable and you also slide that through the locking ring. Next procedure is to put the cartridge inside the compression fitting and then securely tighten the safety into the clip. Move the locking ring upwards. Take your transmitter and mount it. At this stage, everything is still depressurized. Our ball valve is closed. There's no pressure coming from the pipe system to blow this meter upwards. Next step is to make sure that the sensor cartridge is aligned with the flow. It has a flow indicator and it needs to show downstream of the pipe. So I've aligned it, but now my transmitter orientation is still not correctly. Just by loosening the locking ring, I can turn this 360 degrees. I like it in the same position as the flow inside the pipe. So I mount it exactly like this. My flow indication is still right. Now it's time to insert it inside the pipe. Now that I've assembled my flow meter, it's time to insert it. Just to double check, the VP sensor cartridge is aligned downstream of the flow. My transmitter points downwards of the flow. My compression fitting looks tightened. Let's open the ball valve. I'm opening the ball valve and around that time pressure inside the pipe would like to force the flow meter upwards. Because of the safety cable, the locking brake, it stays in place. It will not shoot out of the compression fitting. We slide it inwards, let it touch the bottom and then we say half a diameter up. You can use a measurement device to accurately be in the center of the pipe. Then hand tighten the compression fitting and use a wrench to give it another quarter turn to make it extra tight and secure. Then the next step is to make sure there's no slack on the safety cable. You do that just by pulling on the back of the cable and pulling it downwards. And then the final step is to turn this spool all the way down into a locking position. Right now your flow meter is installed, it will not go anywhere. You're done. <laughs>